Welcome ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to Warhammer 40,000 Vermintide. So today, uh, this will be the initial video. I've already done videos that were in the past with Vermintide, but it, I'm going to be uploading this one first. This is the introduction to the, uh, the gameplay that I'll end up doing. This is after the Skulls for the Skull Throne weekend, so... The goal was reached. Uh, I just got all the little hats and all that for everybody. Oh, all right, cool, cool. I guess I'll throw it on. Yeah, that's uh quite a few purity seals. Just in case you needed your extra purity seals today. Let's see which. You know, honestly, I like this one the most, but you know. Just for kicks, I'll. I kind of want to throw that one on because it just seems ridiculous. For her, that is. But. Mm, whatever. So, f I usually only play the. Uh, only play as Kruber and. It's Kruber, right? Yeah, Kruber. And. Uh, Saltspire. That's fairly spiky and intimidating. Sure, we'll give it to her. Yeah, let's see. You know, again, he's one of those where I actually prefer this hat with him. This one I don't mind. This one, eh. Not my thing. I'm not a very plumey person. Even though I don't mind that plume. It's not as, it's not as weirdly looking plume. So, as you can see, they still have the the decorations up and all that. And this is just going to be some solo stuff. If I jump in with somebody else later on, I may. Yeah. Depends on what I'm feeling like. Yeah, let's see what I want to do. Oh, what do I want to do? <sighs> you know, I'm tempted to go, like, through the... Ubersreich. But at the same time, I've played most of those maps quite thoroughly. The other areas I haven't, so. Let's let's see Stromdor. There's a plot. Whoop. Uh RB to cancel. I'm waiting How to set the private from Stromdor, well. And it's well overdue. Yeah, let's do let's play this one. Why not? Yes, let's go. This would be great. This would be great. There's been of something bad coming this way for a while now. Worse than what happened to Ubersreich, if you can believe that. I don't know what it is, but a town called Stromdorf is at the heart of it. I was due a and thus concludes that. He's running too late to See, I'll probably play this every once in a while. Throw up a couple of videos or so. Just for kicks. And on that note, so as you, as is plainly obvious, I didn't upload videos for quite a while. Um, I was just kind of knee deep in, in my studies and work and all that all at the same time, so it was not the, the best position to be trying to record stuff with any frequency or so on. That's a funky... I've never actually looked at his backpack that closely. <coughs> um, so yes, I wasn't really in a position or desire to compromise my my school and work because of recording. And it's the same thing that happens every other time that I stop recording for a period. I hope I put it on normal. And, uh... <laughs> I'm just so interested in killing the Skaven. And cool. It felt like I was the one that killed him, but 
I didn't really. I assure you, I'll finish my thought in a second. The AI, the AI is actually okay. I mean, they're not. They're good at fighting, they're not very intuitive, just on that note. out of practice for Vermintide so then whenever I whenever I jump back in I have to it takes up like 60% of my thought ability and the other 20% is you know trying not to let myself die yeah, yeah, yeah. that and Kruber is a little bit more Precision, sorry, not Kruber. Salt Spire is a little bit more precision based, I think. Alright. So, I will again be disappearing, though, for a few weeks. Uh, just have a, a trip I have to attend to, some business and all that. I'm Hopefully, we'll have some videos uploaded and all set prior to my departure, but I may not. Ow, 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 ow. That, that didn't work out. Yep, that was a terrible idea. I was almost there, but not quite. Oh, shh. That's what Salt Spire is really good at. It's just, he can put down a bunch of rounds on a group of, <laughs> that's what I think. I mean, the others can too. But I found I prefer it with Salt Spire. God damn it, there's so many storm vermin. Alright, dead. So yeah, the uh, following weeks will be kind of interesting. But I suppose it's not for the worst. I mean, stuff I was going to have to do anyway, so... <coughs> but back to the AI, their, uh, their downfall is that they're usually not the not the best when it comes to, you know, say if somebody gets stuck somewhere, or if there's a certain kind of special enemy, they don't really, not very good at dealing with that. See, like if there was a, if there was a gunner, they wouldn't be behind me. Well, they clearly weren't, but they would stay wherever the. I'm surprised I'm still. Up. Yeah, these solo bouts are probably not going to be the most entertaining. Um, and even in the next video that I did, well, the pre past video I did, I didn't, uh, I didn't have it set up to with uh, any sort of voice chat. I just kind of. Played all willy nilly and you know, type their way. It is usually a bit more engaging with people though. Really? Forgot the rat odor comes here. Yeah, that's 
see the little few hits on it. Stuck in the rat over. Yep, oh, okay. I don't have much hope for the future, honestly. Oh, okay, I guess uh, I guess we did enough that I was able to to survive. Woo, yay. This is wonderful. And to top it off, because I haven't been I hadn't recorded quite a bit in recent history, I'm just not at the best point for my my commentary. <laughs> so you have to forgive me if I seem like I have silent bouts where I just not able nor willing to talk. And that one like you before. Another Hello there. No, one of my kind. She too was convinced that she did holy work and measured her success in blood. Cool. Swing. I'm swinging my rapier. Oh. And then, uh. Recently, I don't know why I didn't notice it before, but I noticed and found out that, uh. That, what's the game called? <laughs> With Mountain Blade, that they had a. They had updated. War Sword Conquest? Really? See, this is where they're stupid. Just idiotic. But they had up, updated uh, War Sword Conquest. And this was a while ago, too. It wasn't like. You know, just this past month. No, this was. Last year. Which was admittedly when I started getting into my school stuff pretty heavily. So. So I've been playing that quite a bit recently. That's been fun. Sadly, they had to get rid of the, uh... They had to get rid of the... What is the mod called? It, it's the one where it lets you go around as a troop in the, the Lord's army. Which I actually found to be a really good mod for the setting, especially because you're fighting with uh, with armies that can get up to 200s and 300s and so on. And that's per lord, so. The uh, starting out is kind of difficult unless you get into like trade or something like that. Sound like they, one of them said chupacabra. Hey guys, stand back a little farther. Luckily, the slaves are not the most apt in combat. I was waiting for it to jump on me, honestly. Alright, we're making our way up. Is this the way? I hope it's the way. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, 
this is good. So, what's in here? Nothing. That is the sad thing about the lower difficulties. You have all these chests everywhere, but none of them work. If you didn't know, the the uh, Storm Vermin are... Here's a you know, fun lore fact, I guess. I don't know. And this is the last time I checked. I, it's not like I regularly keep up with the stuff and... Make sure I remember everything, which is a weird w way to word that. But the uh, the storm vermin are kind of they're born into their into their position because they have a uh, black fur instead of well, I guess your normal fur. Yeah. So only those who are born with black fur, well, mainly those that are born with black fur, bec can become. Uh, Storm Vermin. I don't know if any like brown fur ones would be coming. I'm sure there can or was or whatever, but on that note, they also the uh, what are they called? <laughs> The uh, storm vermin also when they once they hit a certain point where they're you know storm vermin they uh, they actually get their own skaven slaves too I think they get like thirty of them or something like that some number I'm sure there's some significance to it or maybe there isn't uh, just seemed like a nice number. And, uh, they essentially just take care of whatever the storm vermin wants. Did she fall? What the hell? Okay. Well, luckily for her, she teleported out. Come on. But yeah, the, uh, the storm vermin are considered the most battle capable skaven. They're actually very, they tend to be very aggressive compared to, to most other skaven. She fell and died. Great. Hey dwarf, come on down here. You're gonna get yourself killed. Let's see, let's jump. Whoop. See, this is an example of where they're idiots. Well, I was the idiot for thinking they would jump up with me. All right, let's get out of here. Come on. Kuba. Now, this may seem... You know, these games always crack me up because they're... They're not the most, I guess you can say, mentally engaging games. But they're, they still are entertaining, whether because the simplicity of it all or... Otherwise, I mean, you know. thought somebody had shot me. I need to turn up the sensitivity. I feel like I'm. Though I mean, I could be limited to how fast I can turn based on just how the how the game's been set up too. Medicine here, should anyone care? Maybe a drink will get my humors back. Okay, somebody pick this up. Is nobody gonna pick it up? Oh, whatever. Don't let that elven wench out the 
<laughs> yep, I saw it. And I did. I've never actually played this map before. Um, so if I seem a little lost, it's because I'm lost. I know. Crazy, huh? I happen to be at the tail end of a, a annoying little head congestion bit, congestion bit as well. So. Suffice to say, it hasn't been the most satisfying thing to be dealing with, and I've been recording too. Well, and I have to see. I seem to have this tendency to record while being sick and miserable. So, I figure I'd stick with it. was the perfect time to start recording. That was a, a gamble. I wasn't sure if I would be able to get the attack off before he sliced me. Wutego? Maybe it's the name for him for Carillion. It's a trap! But yeah, with uh, playing solo, my tip is just look after yourself. At the end of the day, if you die, it's game over. But if the uh, if your allies die, it's whatever. Kuba, aim for the head. So many storm vermin in this map. Why? There's gonna be like 50 of them at the end of it. Garden of Moor. If you don't know, there's the two moons, Manslaib and Moorslaib. Moor is the the god of the dead. And uh Essentially the more slide means like more's blessing or something like that. Something thereabouts. Oh, it's just the dwarf. I pride myself that I wield it well. I don't even know where the hell I'm going. I'm just kind of crawling up this. Well, it seems to be a path. And so Azumagi's probably like human or something like that. Is this even the right way? Probably is. Yep. The darkness shines with ocean eyes. So on that note, the Eshin, the or the gutter runner in this case, usually they're uh, they uh, hop themselves up on uh, on the warp stone. And that's a, uh, it's a kind of a, it's a high for them, and maybe that's probably, well, I assume that's probably why they, their eyes glow as they, because it makes them incredibly fast, stronger, so on and so forth, things like that, if I recall. So maybe I go left. Great. And I actually killed it before it grabbed me. 
That was amazing. I've never... Well, I've probably done it before. Just very rarely done it before. Moore's Haven, where all are welcome, be they uncorrupt. But, yeah, more plays a rather prominent role in the world, though. Most don't actually worship him in, in a conventional sense. Only when, like, people die do they give offerings. They don't build shrines to him, except for he considers funeral homes to be shrines. Press forward. That said, the AI is really good at you know following the player and then making like a wave of you know melee towards the target. Should we perish here, Ma will surely commend our souls to Sigma. <laughs> if only Salt Spire knew. I wonder what happened to, like, what it took to be considered a heroic and. Heroic enough in Sigmar's eyes to find yourself uh, to find yourself become one of the oh what do they call them? Stormcast Eternals? Like, did you have to just do heroic deeds, or did you have to? I don't know. Kill. 300 people consecutively. Yeah. It's probably anything that was deemed heroic and in, in the spirit of goodness or Sigma or whatever. <coughs> Honestly, it's much like the uh, It's uh, much like the I've been meaning to test to see if the shove pushes them off or not, but I never do. Oh, let's see if I can actually get this barrel over there without. As soon as I pick up the barrel, every time, it's like clockwork. But yeah, I'm curious about the. Did you just like judge their character? Like, oh, you're a good guy, you did some heroic things, you're strong, and then you got yourself killed? Perfect, we'll take you. About, I can smell them. If I recall though, uh, more, or maybe it was Nagesh, Nagash, whatever. And uh, Sigmar struck a deal where if. Uh, as like the Stormcast Eternals die, they'll be resurrected. So it's essentially a, an invincible army. Just imagine if you fused Space Marines with Necrons, and then you would get the. Uh, you'd get the uh, Stormcast Eternals. Bombing chamber. Ooh, fun. Do we need another barrel for up here? Really? I hope not. We probably do. Look, another chest. Nope, nothing in there. Let's check this side. Nothing. Great. Great, great, great. Uh, let's take the torch then. This is another example of something terrible though. Is I have to be the one to take the torch. I think. I don't think you can command your allies to take it. Let's 
So no, you can't push him off. Well, you can't push that one off at least. I kind of wonder if it would follow the... Follow the... Left for Dead rules or not. I keep just walking forward and... Nope, let's get up. I don't know why I picked it up even though I was right at the end. I swear, if I have to take a barrel... Well, okay, now it's just prompting those. This is the magical torch. It's my only objective. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Gandalf references. And there we go. Yay. See? First time. Cool, it was on normal. I'm happy about that. Did I get another? Oh, yes. Great, the righteous hatchet of sucking ass. Now let's see me get nothing. Ready? That was wonderful. Renald is considered the god of fortune, if you didn't know. Speaking of, since, you know, talking about it. Let's see, I killed... I got 96 headshots, which is surprising. 33 ranged... So I got 96 headshots and then thir 33 range kills, or did I get 96 headshots including my my melee weapon? I'm pretty certain melee weapon counts as headshots too. I saved two other heroes, killed 25 storm vermin. Yep, dealt 1,400 damage, did 362 damage to the boss. Do they have 500 health or something like that, or do they have more? That strength potion, I guess, did help out quite a bit. Gorillion got the most melee kills and clan rat slave kills. Marcus aided the most folks. She had the most kills overall. Most special kills and Marcus took the most damage. Poor Barden down there. Bottom of the barrel. Is there like an overall score you can measure? Like I mean, not to not to down anybody, but it'd be kind of interesting if they did. And we'll probably just call it an end there. I'll do these videos whenever, and well, let me go check something out. Why not? I did think I do think the uh, RPG elements that were added to it were a really uh, smart decision by the developers, because it adds a bit more replayability over playing the same missions over and over though admittedly mods would help out with that but you know is what it is Let's see. what do we have over here is that a vile rack that's interesting key contracts I got two over here for a bolt staff. I've considered, you know, trying to play Sienna as well, but I keep not doing it. Yeah. No reason to. Hmm. Honestly, of the of the three, this one seems the most practical for me. Yeah, whatever. 
Alright, so we'll call that an end to this. Uh, this is Warhammer 40,000 Vermintide. I hope you enjoy watching. Uh, you should expect to see some of these every once in a while, and it'll just be whatever I feel like playing. I'll, you know, try to join up with other folks and do things here or there, but it's kind of meh as it, as it happens. So, I'm signing out.